Top 10 Professional Courses You Can Take in 2019. Hi everyone, welcome to Gray Campus. In today's video, we'll talk about the top professional courses you should take to move a step ahead in your career in 2019. As per the Robert Half Technology Salary Guide Survey, these are the most important and valuable IT certifications this year. Let's get started. At number one, we have Agile and Scrum. Agile and Scrum are very popular certifications as of today. Agile methodology is more adaptable to changes regarding its requirements throughout the course of the project. You might be unaware that the word Scrum is from the game Rugby. Scrum promotes teams to constantly learn through experiences, self-organize the requirements while working on issues, and also reflect on the achievements and failures throughout and to improve on a continuing basis. Commonly considered as a framework in Agile project management, Scrum outlines a set of meetings, tools, and roles that work in harmony to help a team structure and complete their work. Through this certification, you will be able to learn the Agile and Scrum framework and gain an understanding of team roles, events, and artifacts, as well as how to guide Agile teams through a project successfully. According to Payscale, in 2019, the average pay for a certified Scrum master in the United States is $115,700 a year. To earn the Certified Scrum Master Certificate, you'll be required to attend a two- to three-day workshop course. And if this is something you're interested in, make sure to check out the link in the description box below to find out more about the course. Next up at number two, we have AWS Certified Solutions Architect. This is one of the most popular cloud computing certifications. From storing and sharing files using Google Drive to watching movies on Netflix, everything is in the cloud. From the user base itself, it's evident that cloud computing is a necessity today. If you're a person who wants to build a career in the cloud, then AWS certification is the best to start with. You can start with a basic level such as AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Associate, and gradually move up the ladder with next step certifications. Let me tell you why. That's because AWS is more popular than its 10 major competitors such as Azure and Google Cloud. The average salary of an AWS Solutions Architect is $123,700 per year, according to Indeed.com. According to Enlift, a marketing intelligence company, 47% of Amazon AWS customers are in the United States, and that's a lot of companies that can bring job opportunities for you. However, prior to taking the exam, you should have hands-on experience with AWS services and architecting large-scale distributed systems. If AWS is something that interests you, then you can click on the link in the description box below to know more about the AWS course. Moving on to number three, we have CISSP, Certified Information Systems Security Professional. This is one of the globally recognized IT security professional's technical skills. Companies usually look for applicants who have completed the CISSP exam because applicants with the CISSP certification are sufficiently educated about cybersecurity and have hands-on experience of at least five years. Prior to taking an exam, one should have at least five years of hands-on experience in a minimum of two of the eight cybersecurity knowledge domains. In one of our previous videos, we mentioned that according to an Indeed article, there's been a sudden 7% increase in demand for cybersecurity skills in the U.S. That's good news, isn't it? According to Payscale, the salary of a CISSP certified individual ranges from $87,000 to $165,000, depending on the years of experience in the USA, as of August 2019. Next, at number four, we have Cisco certifications. Within Cisco certifications, the two most popular and valuable certifications are CCNA, Cisco Certified Network Associate, and CCNP, Cisco Certified Network Professional. CCNA primarily focuses on developing appropriate skills to meet the speedy deployment of technologies in today's complex networking environment. Once you are CCNA certified, you can choose different paths that interest you, such as CCNA Security. It deals in troubleshooting and monitoring network devices. CCNA Voice. It deals with VOIP, handset, voice over mail, etc. CCNA Wireless. It deals with using Cisco equipment in configuring, implementing, and supporting wireless LANs. The majority of MNCs, as well as medium-sized companies, use Cisco products, which means they need people who can help with seamless operations while using those products. In the U.S., the average salary of a CCNA certified professional ranges from $72,000 to $100,000 as of August 2019, 
according to Payscale. CCNP is one of the most popular certifications in the field of networking. This certification is usually preferred by CCNA as this helps them to scale up one's career. CCNP will help you to validate your proficiency in planning, implementing, managing, and troubleshooting WANs as well as LANs in business environments. It also helps you to stay aware of how to work in collaboration with other experts to manage wireless, voice, videos, and security solutions. CCNP certified professionals earn $92,000 on an average per year, which can also go as high as $122,000, depending upon the experience according to Payscale in August 2019. Then, at number five, we have PMP, Project Management Professional. It is one of the most recognized certifications globally in today's date. It is created and administered by PMI, Project Management Institute. According to recruiters, the certificate adds immense value to your leadership skills, and in addition, the PMP certification brings a 22 to 25% increase over non-certified peers. PMP helps you examine yourself in five criteria, initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, and controlling, and lastly, closing. The results provide you a clear picture of your capability, also giving recruiters a reason to choose you over others. However, there are prerequisites to becoming PMP certified. You should have a bachelor's degree with at least 4,500 hours of project management experience. And if you don't have a bachelor's degree, then you would need to have 7,500 hours of project management experience. And lastly, you need to have a 35-hour contact certificate to take the exam, and you're good to go. According to a survey done by PMI in 2019, project managers' take-home salary is $112,000 annually in the States and earns 23% higher than someone without PMP certification. Project management includes other certifications such as CAPM, Prince2 Foundation, Prince2 Practitioner. You can check the link in the description box below for further information. Up next, at number six, we have CompTIA A+. With this particular certification, you'll have complete fundamental knowledge of hardware and software. You'll also learn about troubleshooting a wide range of devices, from computers to smartphones. The examination is outlined to certify the capability of entry-level personal computer service professionals in installing, operating, customizing, and maintaining personal computers and other devices. In the U.S., a CompTIA a certified professional earns about $59,000 on an average per year, according to Payscale, as of August 2019. At number seven is ITIL. ITIL, or Information Technology Infrastructure Library, is a set of best practices for IT service management. ITIL concentrates on adjusting or arranging IT services according to the requirements of companies. It includes a list of relevant specializations such as IT operations, capacity management, incident management, and availability management, to name a few. Best practices intend to manage or lessen IT costs, improve IT services, and balance IT resources. You can start with the ITIL Foundation course, which will give a brief understanding of the IT service lifecycle. According to ZipRecruiter.com, the majority of ITIL Foundation salaries as of August 2019 range between $52,000 to $118,500 across the United States. At number eight, we have Global Information Assurance Certification, GIAC. GIAC provides a set of vendor-neutral computer security certifications. It offers 30-plus specific information security certifications. The objective of these certifications is to focus on job-based capabilities rather than providing a standard course to all. The certification process approves the specific abilities of security professionals and developers with standards established on the most important benchmarks in the industry. The growing number of devices and networks also increases our vulnerability to threats. In turn, this leads to the demand for highly skilled people to manage these threats and eliminate them. According to Payscale, August 2019, a GIAC certified specialist can earn an average of $90,000 per year in the U.S. Moving on to number nine, we have MCSC, Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. The MCSC certification will help if you are an IT professional to validate your technical expertise through accurate, industry-proven, and industry-recognized exams. MCSC certifications show the skills to design and build advanced solutions that integrate multiple Microsoft technologies. 
Prior to doing MCSC, you'll have to complete MCSA certification, which will validate your ability to build and design solutions using core Microsoft technologies. MCSC has various other certification under it, such as MCSC Business Application, MCSE Core Infrastructure, MCSE Data Management and Analytics, MCSE Mobility, and MCSE Productivity. The demand for skilled cloud specialists has exponentially increased due to a multi-cloud strategy approach taken by most businesses. According to Payscale, the average salary in the U.S. for Microsoft Certified Solution Experts is $92,000 per year as of August 2019. And finally, at number 10, we have CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker. These days, hiring an ethical hacker is not a choice, but a necessity. If you wish to become one, you will have the ability to understand and know how to look for vulnerabilities in target systems. You will also be able to use the same expertise and means as a hacker, but strictly aligned with the law to evaluate the security posture of a target system. Not only in the U.S., but also in other countries, malicious hacking is a serious offense. However, one should have the same technical skills that hackers possess to catch the criminal. A certified ethical hacker certification indicates your knowledge of network security, particularly in preventing malicious hacking attacks through preemptive countermeasures. In the U.S., a certified ethical hacker earns on an average of $90,000 per year, according to Payscale, as of July 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do check out the link for more information on PMP, Agile and Scrum, ITIL, and AWS in the description below. We've also attached the link for other courses as well. If you have any questions, please comment below and we will be happy to reply. Thanks for watching.